Romans 3.23, the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the genesis of, of that happened in, in the Garden of Eden, when they first created man and woman. When they disobeyed God and they fell from grace. Now, everybody on the face of heart now is a descendant of Adam and Eve. If you trace your ascensory, you, you, you can trace it to Adam and Eve. The ascensory of Jesus Christ was traced in the Bible, and it was traced to Abraham. So, the simple fact or the simple logic is that because Adam and Eve sinned, you that were his um, descendant, you inherited that sin. Because before he committed that sin, man was, was blameless. Man was to live forever. But disobedience caused the fall of man. And because you are his descendant, do not say, I don't know Adam and Eve. You have the DNA of Adam and Eve. You, you, are, you have the genetics of Adam and Eve in your body. And that's why the Bible says that everybody has committed sin. And if, even if you don't know Adam and Eve, what of your ancestors? My grandfather, for instance, was an occultist. My grandfather was, was, was an idolator. And he died as an idolator. He was deep into occult. So even if I say I don't know Adam, Adam and Eve, my grandfather was, was, was deep into occultism. And you can imagine the evil he has committed. You can imagine the sin he has committed. You can imagine the people he murdered for, for ritual sacrifices. We thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ that has redeemed us from the cause of the law. And that is why you must appropriate yourself. Because for every sin that your parents commit, you must partake in it. It's your parent now. They gave back to you. The only thing that will separate you from that sin is the blood of Jesus Christ. He has redeemed you from that sin. So that you don't pay for the sin of your parent. It's your parent. You can't separate yourself naturally. Because they gave back to you. You are a product of the union of your, of your father and your mother. Something between, something that came out from the, the two of them mixed together and produced an embryo that became you. You are their blood. You are their blood. The gene of your father is inside you and your mother. But we thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ that redeemed us from the cause of the law. And that is why you must repent from your sins and be saved. Repent from your sin and accept Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. Repent from your sin and accept Jesus Christ, the Reconciliator. Repent from your sin, confess your sin, accept you a sinner. And accept Jesus Christ that have canceled your sin. Repent from your sin and accept the salvation plan of the Savior. Repent from your sin and accept the grace that comes from the person that was crucified so that your sin could be cancelled. That is it's because of that reason that people are saying that the gospel, is, the gospel message is, is that accept Jesus Christ because he has paid for the sins that you should pay for. Remember, you didn't drop from anywhere. Somebody gave back to you. And you inherited the sin of that person and his ancestors. But Jesus Christ came to cancel that sin by shedding his blood on the cross of Calvary. Accept the plan of salvation today and you shall be saved in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.